What's up y'all? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today I will be reacting to a video posted by Trend Crave and the video is called Top 10 Disgusting Things People Found in Fast Food. Ew. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I want to see is Trend Crave here and in today's video, we're going to be going through the top 10 most disgusting things found in fast food. So people found some like band-aids or bugs, things like that in their food when they opened it up and it's just really nasty. Some of you guys might not even want to ever eat fast food again after watching this video. I myself though, oh I, I welcome stuff like this happening to me. I hope I find a dead mouse in my food because then I can sue somebody and get exactly. some money if you feel me. But anyway, so before you end this video, if you guys uh, like fast food, then make sure you have a like on this video and of course comment down below and tell me the most disgusting thing that you've ever found in your your food and if you haven't oh already God. make sure you subscribe to the channel because that would really help out but let's go and get into this top about 10. To show me? 10 spot. this one's not actually in the food but it was very close to the food and uh, some employee at McDonald's apparently let their really super bloody nasty ass band-aid slip off and it was at the very bottom of this McDonald's bag mm. next to this guy's fries when mm. he went to like pull him out a receipt from the McDonald's on Summerlin and San Carlos Boulevard shows the order a McDouble, a six-piece McNugget, and a small fry. But a check inside the bag revealed this guy got more than he paid for. It was a surprise, and I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. That surprise? It was a bloody Band-Aid. He discovered the Band-Aid once he got home, after he'd already eaten some of his food. Oh! It was bloody. The Band-Aid was lying on the bottom of the bag. It's real bloody! Food, but near his fries. So he snapped these pics to document what happened. It's like, show the store's manager. covered in blood. Yeah, I'm not telling that this issue should be addressed because it is a health concern. The store's manager apologized immediately and offered right away to make it it's right. It's like real Reason saturated in blood. And getting him another meal. Are you happy with the store's response? I am. I'm glad that he did tell me that he did address the issue. He doesn't think wow. anyone put the band-aid in there on purpose. Rather, that it probably just slipped off when yeah, someone was, it was so damn bloody. Food. Even at number nine, this one's crazy. You know all those memes that you see around Halloween time of wow. razor blades and stuff like that being in kids' candy and that kind of shit? Well, imagine if that came true, except it was at a fast food restaurant. This place is called Kickbacks, uh, and basically this couple, they went and got some salsa and chips and stuff like that from here, and inside their salsa were razor blades. I was what? stunned. He happened to be right there when I pulled it out and just said, oh my God, that could have ruined your His hair looks your mouth, gorgeous, your, your everything. It was something i never seen before. <laughs> New tonight, the owner of Kickspacks is defending his restaurant after a social media post just went viral. A customer posted pictures online of a razor blade he allegedly found in his salsa. If only the owner of Kickbacks would have treated them like human beings instead of calling the police on them when they were only trying to get a refund. Now the couple says that they got takeout on a late Thursday night. The next day, the wife says that she was going to finish the leftovers of the meal. That's when she noticed a blade, a razor blade in her food. Wow. I didn't rate this shit's nasty. This came from Domino's Pizza, and they have these, like, oregano packets, like, spice seasoning things that you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, and inside one of these packets, there is a bunch of bugs. No! No, 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 no! Oh, my God. Oh my god! Ew! Ew! For real? So many of them, man. For real, though? Is it visible? Is it visible? So and if they were all dead, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that they were bugs unless you really look. In the number seven spot, this one's a bit of a wow. controversial one because a lot of people actually believe this guy and a lot of people don't believe this guy. But uh, I'll let you guys choose and you can tell me what you think down in the comment section below. But this comes from McDonald's. And uh, this guy, he drank this coffee, sipped it throughout the day, had other people watch him do it according to him. Uh, and at the very bottom of this cup was a dead mouse. Ron Moray says he picked what? up his coffee from McDonald's on his way to work on Monday. He sipped it contentedly all day, and then... Well, I always take the lid off to take my last gulp of coffee. And when I took the lid off, there was a little bit of surprise in my coffee cup. Did he take a picture? There's a dead mouse. Oh my god, there's a mouse in my coffee, is what he says, and I'm like, no, it's, it's real, he's not joking. Murray's co-workers, Jennifer LaHaye and Brad Patterson, couldn't believe it. 
unless I had been there and watched Ron drink that whole coffee down to that last drop, I would have I would have been like your line. And there was also a few little, shall we say, presents that the mouse had dropped in the cup as well. Uh, it's not actually fast what? food, but I couldn't help myself when I found it. I, I had to include it in the list. This mom, she's cooking supper for her, you know, kids and stuff like that. And That's disgusting. That in this frozen uh, veggie packet, she actually found a dead frog's frozen head. Ernestine what? Jameson cooks vegetables for her kids every night. I mean, I love vegetables, so... But when she opened a bag of pit sweet frozen cut green beans last month, well, I saw something in it. I wasn't too sure what it was. She found more. It looked really nice. It was hard. Was the frog had green, green too? Beans. Yeah, I just jumped because I was so scared. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. The Jameson family believes this black and green frozen object nestled in their dinner was a severed snake head. You know, when I saw the snake head, I uh, just threw it down. F the, you know, and I called my kid. I said, oh my God, that's a fast snake head in the green beans. Ernestine called Pick Sweet, who offered her a hundred. That's not even a fast bucks, food, though. That's like... Down. A letter from the company's insurance Grocery agent store. claims Pick Sweet is not responsible for this accident and are denying liability. They really? also claim it wasn't a snake head at all, saying... It's a frog head. But that makes it any snake. better. Number five, this one comes from some random Asian restaurant, but this woman, <laughs> she was eating, and uh, she actually found a Band-Aid in her food, and one of the workers had accidentally let it slip off, kind of like in that McDonald's one, in except uh, it actually got into the food this time. Sent to us by a viewer is certainly an attention grabber. <sighs> she says when she bit into a spring roll here at a Vietnamese Asian restaurant off 72nd and Jones, she found a Band-Aid. She says she only realized once it was in her mouth. <laughs> Managers uh, here admit it happened. Uh, they say they are extremely <laughs> sorry for the incident, though, uh, and they do guarantee it won't happen again. Management tells me they did offer her a new appetizer, but she ended up leaving. The owner here tells me that the Band-Aid fell off as he was taking off his glove. In the number four spot, we've got a rat or a mouse of some sort, and uh, it's in this, uh, like, self-serve or condiment area section <laughs> in this McDonald's. I don't know. I haven't been there in a couple years. Uh, but it, it's just chilling there, eating some food, minding its own business, and it's probably not good because somebody's recording this. And just so you know, there is this really weird jingle background music, so uh, I'm too lazy to change it with something else. Here it is. Really? Just all out in the daytime, not giving a care in the world, just... We're for three. For this one, we're at Taco I'm Bell. This girl, she toppings. just ordered this burrito and actually ate a portion of it. And inside of it, she found this bug. And it looks like a cockroach or something like that oh to me. Oh, my God, bugs. Oh my god, this is a bug. Oh my god. Wow. I'm done. I'm so done. Oh, this is traumatizing. Quite of a, a sinister thing to find in your food, but it certainly would piss me off, especially if I'm sitting there and paying for the food and all that kind of stuff. Just like I pissed off this guy who found it in this video, but he was at Jack in the Box eating some food. And, oh, not Jack uh, in the Box. Come it, on. Like, he found a bunch of moldy food. Like, the eggs were molded. It was just disgusting. I ate a couple good bites. And what happens when I turn it over? Inside, there is mold on the egg and the cheese. Oh, my God. Are you fucking fit? There is mold growing out of the egg and the cheese. That, that's fucking disgusting. That's nasty. Jack in the Box, fuck you. And finally... That's this holiday gross. season, found the number one spot. We're gonna end this video off with some rats that were found inside this local McDonald's. Like there's a full-on video of these these rats running around inside on the floor and that kind of stuff. It's some nasty ass shit. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and play the clip now. Here it is. Screen <laughs> grab of it's a nasty, video that a local woman posted on her Facebook page today. The video shows rats running through a local fast food restaurant. Soon after, the restaurant owner closed his doors, but Ew. not before the health department showed up to take a look those are the clips that i have for today's video hope you guys did enjoy it if you did wish you like oh that's disturbing all right y'all that was my reaction to that video if you guys enjoyed my reaction please make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video bye